As you guys saw through last video, we've made it to our new home, which actually isn't going to be our home for very much longer. We're planning on staying here until April. That was our original plan, but there are a couple things that came up with this place. Um, first thing, it's not in the best area of town. So with Airbnbs, you can't tell where your house is until you sign on it. So from the pictures, it looked great. Looked like a fantastic spot for us with the gate and everything. But then we get here and it's in kind of a rough area. So that is red flag number one. Number two, there's four of us living in this place and there are only three bedrooms. So right now, Bri is in the loft. So we really wanna have our own bedrooms for everybody. So as nice as this place is, the gate is amazing. The house is super nice. Um, yeah, we're moving up to Paradise Valley, North Phoenix area. So you guys will see that house when you move into it next video. But yeah, let's get into the project. So we've arrived at our first job site. We went to Moon Valley this morning, got all of our plants, got half of them in there. We got half of them in the truck up on the driveway right there. So this is a uh, mostly just planting and rock refresh job. So we're hoping to get all the planting done today come back tomorrow and put the 20 tons of rock in um that is dependent on if we hit caliche or not if we do we'll show you guys what all that is about we got all the plants back here we got them for the most part all spaced out and where they'll be going in so we got a little bit of mixture of agaves um golden barrels blue flame agave blue glow agave yeah we're getting all these in around this fire pit So we got like probably half of the plants planted. All these got around this fire pit done. Just a gorgeous backyard, as you guys can see. It's looking even better with these fresh plants going in. One thing about Arizona that we're not used to down in Minnesota is the irrigation system. So Drew is going through right now and installing. Drip irrigation this is a main half inch poly tube line that does the, the pet turf to wash the turf. Um, and waters the other plants. Punch a hole right in the line. Take a little barbed piece there. Cut that like that. Put this on here like that. And then we add these little things that the emitters that control the amount of water that comes out. So that's what goes on the very end of this tube and it comes out of the main line just like so. And when you turn that on, it'll just sit and drip two gallons per hour um, onto the plants to water them. That way you don't get any wasted water. If you were to do a sprinkler system or something, you waste a lot of water. Um, so this just gets all of the water right on the root of the plant. And it's very efficient and simple and very common down here. Yeah, so one big thing about these is you want the heads to be above ground. Um, if they're underground, they'll get clogged with sand and dirt and everything, and then your irrigation lines won't work. All right, so we ran into a little bit of an issue when we were planting these plants right over here. Basically, the easiest way to put it is we ran into the mountain. So there's a huge slab of granite that kind of stretches through all these. So we picked up a jackhammer. Now we gotta jackhammer all these holes out and get these plants in. Drew got bit by a dog. We were warned by the pool guys. The first day we were here, the guy comes out from the back. He's like, look out for that dog. It just bit me. So we've been kind of on edge the whole time. And Drew was right in this courtyard, spreading these rocks out. And this dog comes out and absolutely just chows on his calf. 
How's it feel, Drewski? Hurts. Does not feel good. Never had that happen before. <laughs> yeah, so that's not fun, but we're wrapping up here. Um, and yeah, we'll show you guys everything that we've accomplished. Alright, so we have wrapped up this project. Um, it was a full plant and rock refresh. So all back here, this was just a blank canvas for us to work with. So the only plants that were in here were these three right over here. So we added all of these around the fire pit area. All these up top, this tree was here. Um, these hop seeds up by the putting green. These little johns right up in front, a couple little myrtles and then an agave right there and right around here so it really ties this whole space together um, really nice and yeah just kind of gives it a nice fresh look and then if we go to the front so we did all the planting here last year so we swapped out about six of the plants that were dead with new plants and then we did a full rock refresh Sorry, it's kind of loud. We touched up everything in the back. We did everything up front here. And it's looking amazing for our client. So this is our first big project in Arizona. Thank you guys for coming along with us on the journey. And we got a lot more where this came from.